Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing? Today I have an 11 by 14 canvas oval and I'm going to show you how I put my base coat down, which is color to go, and this color is Daffodil. So we're gonna start out by doing this and then we're gonna go on. So I'm gonna go on after I show you this though. Okay, all right. I know you're trying some new things today, so I'm interested to see what Yes, what this is a about. new a new test. Well, you have a new twist to what you normally do, so this is just the first step. It's the first step, everybody. And as you can see, I just take my large stick and away I go, smooth it out. Yeah, these color to go paints from Sherwin Williams make it makes it real easy to do colored bases. Yeah, it really does. I love these uh, paints. Okay, that's that. So I'm gonna let some bubbles come up. Now I'm just gonna slightly torch it. That's why I'm showing you because I'm gonna slightly torch this. Not much. This is. The paint that you can get a skin on so are you worried at all about the edges no okay all no right. i'm not all right <laughs> <laughs> you'll see why phil that's fine that's I'm just asking because i not all the edges cover but that doesn't make a difference apparently no it does not okay you'll good. see good okay so my colors i'm using today are orange now, yellow okay now what when you say using are you doing are you doing a drizzle what are you doing i don't know what you're doing um yeah, it's a drizzle. Okay, you're starting with a drizzle. Okay. It's a drizzle. Okay. It's a different type of a thing. Right. Okay, it's orange yellow by Arteza, Amsterdam gold yellow. This is fireworks by Primary Elements. This is mango mamba, Primary Elements. Venetian red, Primary Elements. This one back here is this little piggy harvest gold. Okay. Egyptian coin by Prison Pour. Lemon drop, which I might not use. Orange Red by Arteza. Uh, Coral Berry, I might not use by Primary Elements. And this is Mango Freeze by Primary Elements. Bordeaux Red by Arteza. I have all these colors. I might not use them all, like I said. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go on to our drizzle. It's kind of a funky thing that I'm doing today. Well, I always like when you try new things because... It's just like a new test thing that I'm doing here. Oh, it looks like you're just drizzling in the middle, basically. Correct. Except for all the dripping you did on the edge. Correct. But we'll take care of that too. Okay. Okay, now what I want to do is, I just got to torch this a tad. Not very much. That's all you do. Then you just get your, if there's a bigger bubble, you just get it out. So you don't have to worry about those, oh, okay. I really don't, but you'll see what I mean. Okay. You will see, Phil, because you do not know how this mind works on this. Well, I know you were up here for a couple hours experimenting <laughs> with stuff, so this ought to be uh, interesting. Okay, so but this no. is our gold yellow by okay. Amsterdam. All these colors that Kathy is using have the same recipe, and that's in video 478. And it also talks about her base, her pouring medium, and her cell activator recipe. So it's a real nice all-in-one video of Kathy's recipes. A, a, a link will be in the description box to get directly to that video. So Phil, what have you been doing while I've been up here? 
I have been editing videos. Oh. I'm behind by two videos, and this will be video number three, so. Well, what have you been doing to be so far behind, Phil? I can't remember. Usually, <laughs> I'm the uh, one, you know, caught up here on the videos. Now you have to catch I, up I, to me. I had to clean the pool. Oh. Pool patio. And I had to watch golf. Oh, boring. <laughs> boring. We went for a walk. Yes, we did. It's a beautiful day here. It's 70 degrees and sunny, and I didn't want to be stuck in the house. Yeah, we were stuck in the house too many years back in Illinois. So anytime we can get out here, it's a happy day for us. Hope everybody's staying well. If you do have a lot of snow, don't send it my way. Um, I'll send some sunshine your way so it can all melt. I know how that goes. We lived in Illinois. We had snow until like pff, end of May sometimes, which was not good. I just feel really bad for all the people in uh, Texas. Oh. Our electricity and water, they're still dealing with that. So our prayers I, are with all yeah, of you. Our so thoughts and prayers are out to all those people and anybody else that's having some difficulties, uh, you know, with weather related or anything else, really. So Yeah, we keep you all in our prayers. So this is what the drizzle technique is supposed to look like. Putting drizzle paints all over the area that you want. Drizzle, but not too thick in any one area. And you do want to have some of the base showing through also, which it is at this point, so. It's kind of hard to see it with the yellow, but it's there. Well, you can see it, yeah, you can see it. So I'm interested to see, um, what Kathy's going to do with this drizzled area when she's done. <laughs> I'm in the, I'm in suspense just like everybody else. You are, aren't you? I don't need, know if you need that other orange in there. Phil? I know that's not orange you're using now. It's a, some kind of a yellow. Phil? Yes, yes ma'am. Keep. You don't want any unsolicited advice? No. Okay. No. You'll probably still get some anyways. Probably. But well, you won't listen to it, so. No, I don't, because these are all different colors. They may look pretty much alike, but they're not. I'm not using the coral berry, but I am using the mango freeze. Okay. Don't forget to check out the description box of all our videos. It has wonderful information out there. There's links to get discounts on a lot of wonderful products from... Oh. Color Art, Arteza, KS Resin, and Boom Gel Stains, and Australian Floetrol. And all these colors that Kathy is using uh, will be listed in the description box. Gotta keep that close by. Oh, I lost my shtick. My shtick, Phil, I lost my shtick. Okay. What color gold this is, is that? This is this little piggy, Harvest Gold. Okay. Got to make up some more of this because it's almost gone. What's new, Kath? <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow, Kath? Well, making up paints. What do you think? Yeah, you've used up a lot of paints and pigments the last couple of days, so I got, I got a feeling you're going to be uh, stuck up here. Yeah, I got that feeling too, Phil, which that is not good. Okay, I'm going to take my shtick back here. Okay, now, people, we're moving on. Okay. Now we are drizzling black. You are drizzling black. Yes. Uh, I, would, I didn't see that one coming. Drizzling black. That's not, that's just black paint? Yes, this is the color to go, black. Oh. Jeez, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, that'll 
exactly okay. Now into the black. We are drizzling our Bordeaux red. You're really going outside the box on this one. Holy cow. <laughs> Or should I say outside the circle? Whatever you want to call it, Phil. Now, on top of that, we are putting our prison poor Egyptian coin. Walk like an Egyptian. I'm going to hide that color. I'll still sing the song. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then it doesn't do any good to hide the color then. See how my mind's working today, Phil? Yes. Had to be that walk. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here too. Okay, that's it. Finny. Well, you're finished with that. I, I think you have some more things you're going to oh, do. Oh, no, I'm done. Oh, you're done, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Well, if you're done, it looks like a pizza. It, oh, it kind of does, doesn't it? And you have a craving, so you want a piece? Except, except the crust is burned. Oh, gosh. Okay. Got to torch this little puppy a little bit. Okay, now on with my black cell activator. So that is Australian Floetrol and Black Oxide by Amsterdam. <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of laughing because you, you just have no clue what I'm doing here, Phil. That's true, I don't have a clue. Well, I usually don't have a clue, but I really don't have a clue on this one. No, a lot of times you have a clue because your little Snoopy drawers up here. You like to come up and see what I'm doing. And you were in the making the video, so... Well, if I know what you're doing, then I have some idea what to talk about. But on this one, <laughs> that's one way of kind of keeping me quiet. Maybe everybody will be thankful. <laughs> yes. They'll go, Kath! Yeah. You know, keep, keep them downstairs. Keep them in the dark. Yeah. Okay. Now. Here we go, people. You're just using a partial card? <laughs> okay. That's usually you start out with a full card, but this is. Okay. Oh, we're getting lots of nice cells, cool colors. I just think it's kind of funny because you just, oh, you're starting out with a little card? <laughs> well, as, as you can see, Kathy simply uses playing cards. She cuts them to the size she wants, puts some of the cell activator on the back, and gently swipes through the surface of the drizzled paints and the base paint, I guess, at this point. This is just great because... I just think it's so funny because you usually have a clue what I'm doing and when I, I'm doing all this different stuff, you just look at me like, what are you doing? Hey, I got to keep you on your toes, Phil. What do you think, Phil? It looks like it's fiery in there. Doesn't it? It does. But you just wait. Okay. 
Now I'm going to wreck this like this. Coming over here. Okay. Now, we're wrecking down the middle. Boy, Phil, you're pretty quiet. I'm kind of speechless here because I'm just seeing what you're doing and you're doing stuff completely different than I've seen you do it because you left... You left a lot of, uh, of the area unswiped. And I did and that on purpose. I know. I, I can see that. This is turning out really cool. <laughs> really okay. cool. Okay, so I think I'm just about done here. Uh, yeah, I'm done. What do you think, people? Or are you going to do any uh, spinning? Sure I am. Well, I'm you're, done rocking. Then you're not done. I'm asking what they think with I'm done with the rocking. I only got my last step to do. Of course I'm spinning a roof. Okay. You ready, Phil? Uh -huh. I'm ready. This is like an inferno. Yes. Look at wow. my inferno. That is so cool. Is this not cool? That is so cool. I love this. This is what I had in mind. The black on the sides, a little black going down the middle, and my swirls just going everywhere. Because it's just like a fire started. Can you, can you turn it so it's, yeah, there we go. That way I can get it all in it. Yeah, I was wondering about when you put the black down, what <laughs> that was going to do, but it sets off the inferno really cool. And you just got just enough cells down in here to add some interest between the bottom and the middle area. And and I love that gold with the black, and I love, I, I, I just love this. I, I had it in my head, and it was like burning fire. Well, it is. It's like, it is. It's like an inferno, because you've got the great oranges and the reds and the yellows and all the different colors you'll get, and a flame is coming out through there. Well, I hope everybody likes this, because this is how my mind was working today. Very cool. I love these colors. I think it's so cool with the black because it doesn't overtake the black. The black doesn't overtake the, the red, the yellow. Exactly. None of them. I'm just popping some bubbles here. So if you like this, people, give me a thumbs up. And um, please join, you know, subscribe to our channel because you never know what my head's going to be putting in to this daffodil base. Um, I had to use this. I just, I had, it's been sitting here, my colors. I'm thinking, you know, I just got to try this. So, I hope you like it. I hope I taught you something a little bit different. Yes. Um, it was a lot of fun. You never know what I'm going to do. Head on over to our Facebook group, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. And um, happy painting. Uh, it's only paint. If you want to scrape it, you can scrape it. I'm not scraping this because I like this. But if you make a creation, you don't like it, scrape it. You can go right over it. So until the next time, everybody, I hope everybody stays well, stay healthy. And see you later, alligators. Bye. You had me on the edge of my seat on this one. <laughs> hey, I've <laughs> really, got to keep you on I the edge of your seat. I did not have a clue of how you were going to wreck it. And what the black was all about. Well, I wish I would have had your, I wish I could have videoed you because your face, it was just comical because it's like, you're making this face like, uh huh? <laughs> so now you know. I do.